No interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. Hey guys, I hope you're ready to lose a few brain cells with me. Today, we're reacting to an interview that Dr. Umar Johnson, a psychologist and speaker, did on The Breakfast Club, this hugely popular radio show hosted by Charlemagne the God. In this interview, Dr. Johnson actually railed against interracial marriage. Yes, seriously. But before we dive in, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brad Palumbo, a libertarian conservative political commentator and content creator. Consider subscribing to this channel, joining us, and sticking around. But now let's dive in. Listen to this clip between Charlemagne and Dr. Johnson. I want to ask you something, Dr. Umar. For you, have you ever seen an interracial relationship that was acceptable to you? No interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man need to copulate, build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available? It is an exercise in self-hatred. There's no way to get around it. So when I first saw this, my mind was kind of blown that this could actually still be a take by anyone in 2022, let alone a black person. But here we are, I guess. And he's not some fringe wingnut. Dr. Johnson has almost a million Instagram followers, and his interview on The Breakfast Club has more than a million views. This guy's ideas are getting out there, and that's a problem because they're batshit. I would humbly suggest that the reason that a black man might marry a white woman is, hmm, love? that she's the right person for him, that they have chemistry, that they connected, that they share values. Why should the pigment of their skin hold them back from that? It's particularly absurd that he actually suggests black men should import a wife from Africa rather than marry a white woman. They would have no shared culture. They probably wouldn't even share a language. Yet you should bring some complete stranger into your life rather than marry somebody who you've connected with, who you love, just because of the color of their skin. What? This is a good example of what we call in politics horseshoe theory. When you go too far to either extreme, in this case race politics far to the left, you end up finding yourself meeting in the middle with the other extreme. Frankly, the Ku Klux Klan and literal white nationalists would love everything Dr. Johnson is saying in this clip. Now that should be a sign that you've gone horribly astray. In case any of you still need convincing, let me roll you this clip from CBS News about this one couple that I think really embodies why interracial marriage is actually a huge sign of progress. Friends introduced Carlos Brock to Tanya Bohannon in 1996. They both just knew. Oh man, it was just something about her, the vibe that she put off. I was like, that's what I want to marry. He was really nice. He was different than anybody that I had ever dated before. He was just very genuine and kind. The Brocks married in 2000 with their daughter Lexi in the wedding party. It was just about being happy with each other. Now, I don't look at their story and see self-hatred or betrayal. I see love and social harmony. I think that's something that should be celebrated, that we should want more people to be free to love and bond with whoever they want, regardless of the color of their skin. But apparently some extremists out there, like Dr. Johnson, still think otherwise. Then again, it could just be a grift, to be honest with you. According to AllAmericanSpeakers.com, Dr. Johnson charges five to $10,000 per speaking engagement, even for virtual events. He seems to have built an entire career and brand for himself around this kind of divisive hate mongering. And apparently it's a lucrative one but that doesn't make it any less morally disgusting. Thankfully though, most folks aren't buying it. According to Gallup, 94% of Americans now support interracial marriage, the highest it's ever been. Just in the last few decades, we've seen tremendous progress. To me, this is all a sign that we're moving forward as a society, not backwards. All right guys, that's probably about all the attention that this deserves. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment and let me know what you think. Especially if you disagree with me, I wanna know why, what possibly you could be doing to justify that position. And with that, I'll see you all in my next video.